you for checking this video thank you so much for tuning in now this is the second video about logs and this video will be talking about addition of logs and it will be focusing on a little bit of the basic concepts that you need to know before you perform the addition of logs now before we carry on to the same question which I've shown you earlier I just wanna just show something so that you guys understand what we're dealing with this is something which we need to know before we solve that question so laws of addition of logs so if I say log to the base x a plus log to the base x b is equal to how much now if the base is the same we just multiply the log numbers so this is equal to log with the base of x a time b is equal to log with the base of x a b let's take another question let's take um, log of x with base a plus log of y with base a is equal to we will apply the same concept if the base is the same just multiply the log numbers so this is equal to log with the base of a x times y equal to log base of a x y if you say log base 2 8 plus log of 16 base 2 so since the base is the same we will apply the same concept and our answer will be log base of 2 8 times 16 equal to log base of 2 1 28 now let's go back to the question you need to keep this in mind before you solve any addition of logs now let's have a look at this question it says log 25 to the base 5 plus log 125 to the base 5 is equal to log 25 times 125 to the base 5 now if you are wondering that what would be the solution to this question let me break this question down for you on this side so let me write log 25 to the base 5 is equal to 2 now if you're wondering why this is equal to 2 I've done a video on that you can go and check that video because you need to know the difference between the index form and the log form before you continue with such a question like this so this number right here this number this 5 is called the base and this number 2 is called power and this 25 is called output or you can call it your answer now the base of 5 to the power 2 will give an output of 25 so a base of 5 with the power 2 will give you an output of 25 which is absolutely true because 5 times 5 is equal to 25 so log 25 of base 5 is equal to 2 so we know that log 25 of base 5 is equal to 2 plus let's move on the other side but before I move on let me tell you something this is called the index form and this is called the log form they are basically the same thing there's no difference the only difference is on the right hand side of a log form we write the power and on the right hand side of index form we write the output it is the same stuff just sh being shuffled around the equal to sign it is basically the same thing the log form and the index form tells you the same thing but in, a, in, in two different set of ways okay so let's move on to the second log which is uh, log 125 to the basis 5 and the base to the power 3 will give you an output of 125 so which is equal to 5 to the power 3 is equal to 125 so we know that log 125 to the base 5 is equal to 3 because 1 
25 is equal to 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 5 to the power 3. So this will be 3 and our answer is will be 5. Now if you're wondering why our answer is 5, let me break it down for you. So, 5 to the power 2 times 5 to the power 3 is equal to how much? The laws of indices tell us that if the base is the same, we can plus the power. So 2 plus 3 equal 5 to the power 5. Right. So this 5 to the power 2 is equal to 25. And this 5 to the power 3 is equal to 120. Is equal to 3125. Now, when the same bases are multiplied, the powers are always added. But the outputs are always multiplied to match the answer. Because 5 to the power 5 is equal to 3125. So how do we get 3125? By multiplying the output. So output multiply output will be 3125. Since this output and this output they both have the same base of 5. So if the same bases are multiplied with two different powers they are always added. That's why 2 to the e is equal to 5. And when the powers are added, the outputs are always multiplied. Output, multiply, output. See, it's simple, it's very, very easy. There's nothing complicated in this to understand. So we can say that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Why? Because 2 is equal to the power of the base 5. That's why we can write log 25 of base 5 is equal to 2 because 5 to the power 2 is equal to 25 so this 2 will be the answer 2 about 3 we follow the same concept log 125 to the base 5 is equal to 3 why this is equal to 3 because 5 to the power 3 is equal to 125 so 5 to the power 3 is equal to 125 so the power is 3, so that will be the solution for this log. Now, so 2 plus 3 will be 5. So when you add these two logs, you get your answer of 5. Now how did we get this power of 5? Let's have a look at this. We got this power of 5 by adding the exponents 2 and 3. And how did we get 3125? by multiplying two outputs. So let's do the last step. So log 3125 of the base 5 is equal to 5. Now why this is equal to 5? Because 5 to the power 5 is equal to 3125. So 5 to the power 5 is equal to 3125. So why are we multiplying these outputs? Because these are outputs, 25 and 125, these are outputs. We multiply these outputs because these outputs are the product of the same bases. This 5 multiplied 2 times is 25, and this 5 multiplied 3 times is 125. So when we multiply the outputs, we have to add the powers of those two same bases. So. 25 times 125, that's why the powers are being added. As you can see here, the powers are being added. And why this power are being added? Because they are the power of the same bases. And these outputs come from the same bases. I hope it is not too much complicated for you to understand. So what is your answer? 2 plus 3 equal 5. Alright, thank you so much for your time. And um, if you don't understand, just... Uh, ask anything you want to ask just drop in the comment section down below and I'll be there to help you.